All right, we got the Champion 4500 inverter generator, dual fuel. I'm using propane. Probably gonna just use propane exclusively. I'm gonna start it up. I've already ran it for two hours yesterday. Let's see what we got here. Turn it over to choke. And you push the button. Prime it, I guess. Okay. That's how I did it yesterday. And then I turned it to run. And let's see what happens. There we go. Now I'm gonna... Okay, so it's on. And it goes to eco mode right off the bat. I'm going to take it off eco mode because I'm doing my break in the first five hours. I've already got two hours on it. I love this thing. It's really quiet. Of course, I just got it, so so far I love it. Got the propane hooked up to it over here. It's got a pull cord also if you want to use manual. So 2.6 hours it's been running uh, from yesterday. 122 volts, 60 hertz, I forgot what that means, 2.6 hours, and so this is the 30 amp, this is why I bought it, basically, 30 amp to hook up to our RV. Okay, I have the generator inverter 4500 watts starting watts if propane is 3150 I have it hooked up to the RV all right here it is hooked up all right now I'm gonna go inside and start up the air conditioner and we'll see what happens happens well here we go oh man look at that okay I'm gonna turn it on low fan okay then we're gonna turn it on high fan and okay, now we're gonna turn it to low cool Let's see what happens oh yeah I heard it kick in I heard the generator kick in let's go out here and look at the generator and see what kind of load we got on low cool Okay, so that's two, all right, that's two green marks, so it's not a full load. It's still got three green marks to go before it is a uh, full load on this generator. So right now, it looks pretty good. I'm going to put it on high. I'm going to go back in here and put it on high. Now, yesterday, I plugged in our window air conditioner in the house to this, and it gave me one green one green uh, mark on there. Okay, I'm gonna put it on high cool. See what happens. Okay, sounds good. All right, it's still on two green marks. There's five all together. So, if you can see that. Right here, we're gonna turn this refrigerator on now and see what we get. Let's see here. Oh, I heard that. Okay, let's turn this sucker on high. We're gonna test everything on this thing. All right, let's see. What kind of load we got now? All right, still 40%, so this thing is kicking butt. Yeah, and it's on propane. You wanna do me a favor? And turn that refrigerator on? So we'll have two refrigerators, the air conditioner, So far, I'm, lo I'm loving this thing so far. I can't wait to go boondocking. <laughs> okay, let's try a microwave now. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put the microwave into service and see what happens. All right, let's see what happens to the generator when we turn the microwave on. Okay, so it's already up to 80%. And we just use the microwave for one minute. You know, so it's plenty. Uh, Pup, our wolf pup RV right there 
hooked up to the 30 amp service. So I am very impressed with this generator. This is great, this is great. Well, now all we gotta do is the longevity test. Of course, that'll take you know several camping seasons. But so far, this thing is great. handle here to make it easier to transport from short distances. <laughs> 